Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we've got a quick but exciting update for Linux fans. Sparky Linux 8.0 is out and it's one of the first distros built on Debian 13 Trixie. Let's jump in. So in short, Sparky Linux 8.0, nicknamed the Seven Sisters, ships with the LTS Linux 6.12 kernel and brings a whole bunch of updated desktops, apps, and installer improvements. I'll walk you through the highlights and tell you where to grab it. It's based on Debian 13 Trixie and fully compatible with Debian 13 packages. Kernel powered by Linux 6.12 LTS with optional support for newer kernels like 6.16 and 6.6 .6 LTS for better hardware support. Desktop editions, KDE Plasma 6.3.6, .6, XFCE 4.20, LXQT 2.1, and Mate 1.26. Minimal GUI uses Openbox 3.6.1, but with Hunar as the file manager now, and there's a minimal CLI addition for server-like installs, one neat addition, a new console tool called Sparky Package Tool, sp -eat. It helps with package management from the terminal, so if you like managing stuff in the console, that's a nice quality of life add-on. The Sparky installer also got an option to encrypt the slash home partition during install, and there's automatic partitioning too. Handy for people who want secure, straightforward installs without messing with manual partitioning. If you use the minimal GUI, Openbox Edition, Sparky replaced a PCMAN FM with Tuna. That's XFCE's file manager. It's generally faster and more feature complete for a lightweight setup. So that's a smart swap. Sparky comes with a set of updated default apps. Firefox 128.13 ESR is included by default, and Firefox 141.03 is also available in the repos. Thunderbird 128.13 ESR for email, LibreOffice 25.2.3 as the Office Suite. And GIMP is now included on all ISO flavors, which is great if you do any image editing out of the box. There are six editions in total. The full desktop spins, KDE, XFCE, LXQT, MATE, plus the two minimal options. Minimal GUI with Openbox and minimal CLI without a GUI. So whether you want a modern plasma desktop or a super light system for older hardware, there's probably a build for you. Sparky Linux 8.0 is available now from the official website. Download links are on the release page. If you're on Sparky Linux 7, there's an official upgrade guide you should follow to move to 8.0 safely. Also, do check the release announcement for known issues before you upgrade. Always good to be prepared. Overall, this is a solid release. Being one of the first distros to adopt Debian 13 gives it a fresh, modern base. While the kernel and package updates make it a, a practical choice for a lot of users. Whether you want a fresh KDE Plasma experience or a lightweight open box setup, Sparky 8.0 gives you options. If you liked this rundown, hit like, Subscribe if you want more distro news and drop a comment. Tell me which edition you'd try first, KDE, XFC, LXQT, Mate or Minimal. I'm curious. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.